Piers pretend, <laughs> pretends he's a Hollywood superstar, so it's yeah. nice to have a proper bona fide. Well, I've been star. in eight movies in which I've always played myself, and they've grossed 1.9 billion. It's a lot. The stats Do don't lie, right? That's good. That's right. Thank you. Do you want to add up yours? Ah. Uh, <laughs> How much have you grossed at the box office? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, a few billion, right? Yeah, hopefully a billion. Hopefully. Yeah. And Rush Hour being significantly one of them. 20 years ago, yeah. this month, that the first Rush Hour came out, you and Jackie Chan. Yeah. That became an iconic partnership. Yeah, yeah. It was just uh, chemistry. You know, it was just the perfect timing. And, and, you know, it's good to like the people you work with. So I was already a big fan of Jackie Chan, you know, from Rummel in the Bronx and movies like that. So uh, it, was, it was just uh, it was a fun time. It was a lot of fun. And when, it showed on the screen. When you were a kid and you... You know, you started making people laugh, right? Mm. And you're a funny guy. And you start to think about a dream. What was the dream? Was it what you're doing? I mean, are you living your dream? Yeah, I am. I am. I had to find, you know, school wasn't for me. So I said, I need to find something fast, you know. So uh, and I was making kids, you know, people laugh in school. So I said, maybe I'll do this, you know. And I'm, you know, from Atlanta, Georgia. It was so far from Hollywood. But, uh, you know, uh, thank God I thought about it early. And I said, and I started hosting the talent shows in high school. Mm -hmm. And I was, and I got my first laugh in the talent show. And I said, this is what I'm going to do. Um, and, you know, I, and I, that kept carrying me on. And I if you could talk to the, to the young Chris Tucker now, what would you say were the best things that are lying ahead of you with fame and fortune mm -hmm. and success and the worst things? Um, I, what, the best things, uh, if I could talk to the young Chris Tucker, was, you know, I'm glad that I, I went after my dream and didn't let anybody tell me I couldn't do it. And, and my parents was, you know, supportive. And uh, the and I would, you know, just stay, hold on to your, your, your talent, you know. Work hard. Work hard. Continue to work hard and, and don't, don't let it go, you know. And what's, the, what's the worst thing? The worst thing, I would say? What would you really warn him about? Mm. Uh, People can lose their heads. In Hollywood, yeah, and you in can, comedy, yeah, especially yeah. Especially with that amount of money. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be careful. You gotta be, you gotta be your own man. You gotta be strong, and you gotta say no a lot, you know, because that's gonna keep you who you are. Even if you make some mistakes, at least you, 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 you know, you, you're on the right. You know, you're saying no because you're trying to stay where you're at. So, I think it's it's good to to be stand strong, to stand strong. Is Donald Trump your president? Uh, what well, do you consider him your president? Do you, <laughs> you mean Donald? <laughs> are you serious? Believe me, believe, believe me. <laughs> I know Chris Tucker. He's a great comedian, great guy. I like him. <laughs> I'm, it's true. I do like him. I met him. Well, I didn't say much, but I said hello. <laughs> I said, believe me. <laughs> Have you met Donald Trump? I met Donald Trump, and I said hello to him. He said hello. <laughs> it's good. That was it. It was quick. That was it. That was it. He looked at me, looked hello. Like that. You, uh, you, you're friends with Bill Clinton and yeah. Barack Obama, and mm -hmm. you've campaigned for them. Uh, Trump is obviously an incredibly divisive figure. I've known him a long time, and I, you know, I try and put up a, a defensive of occasion. He get hounded into hell. Um, he, you know, he's a very different kind of person, politician, to be running your country. What do you feel about it? You know what? I, I, you know what? I hope he just does. He does a bit. Spit it out, Chris. I hope that he. You know, I hope he does a good job. You know, and people, because I pray for him. I, I pray for him. I mm. said, listen, I hope he does a good job because you know we need you know uh, a, a great president. We need good thing. We need a lot of things to happen in our country in America. So I hope he does good. I hope tomorrow he wakes up and he just does the right thing. And that's that's how I. The old thing it, is, so. if you go down to somewhere like Atlanta, for example, which I've done you know recently. A uh, lot of support for Trump. It's very different atmosphere about him there than it is here in this yeah. country or in New York and LA, for example. America is very yeah. divided about him. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's the South, and you know, uh, Georgia. I think is you know it's more, more Republican state, uh, Republic state. But uh, you know, yeah, it's it's it's, div it's divided. It's divided right now. So Do you have to be careful because it sounds like you're being sounds careful. like you're being yeah. wary. Yeah. But, is, but is the reason for that yeah. pr being pragmatic in the sense that? You know, I heard Tiger Woods asked about Trump recently. He was very non-committal mm -hmm. because actually he probably recognises a lot of his fans yeah. like Trump. A lot of fans yeah. may hate Trump. Yeah. But do you have the same thing where a lot of your fans, particularly in the South of America or Middle America, yeah. love you, yeah. love Rush Hour, and love you, yeah. like Trump? So why antagonise them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't. Well, you know, when I do my shows, I can't worry about that. You know, and I talk about Trump in my show, and it, it, you know, I can't. Did you worry rip about him or not? You know, I told, I say a little bit of stuff, but but I'm I'm really like I don't, you know, I try to you know encourage him to do the right thing and all that stuff, but I'm not a 
comedian that does dog people out. Try. I want you to do the right thing. Mm. Uh, you know, hopefully we can be friends one day. We can talk. You know. You want him to be successful. I want him to be successful. I want him to do the right thing. Uh, you know, that's my that's my whole attitude. And in my show, that's what I talk about. Yeah. Have you ever thought, Chris, if you had twenty seconds to live, what your last <laughs> joke would be? My last joke would be, I wouldn't you be joking to... around if I had 20 <laughs> seconds to live. I'd be like, no, get everything together. Oh, whatever I got left, you can have it, <laughs> son. <laughs> it's serious, man. I wouldn't be joking, Pierce. Surely you'd have seconds. to go out with a joke. Oh, no. no. I would be like, man, uh, get, get, sell, keep, don't, don't drive my Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> I would say stuff like, I, who's going to be living in my house? <laughs> stuff like that. I'm be concerned. <laughs> You couldn't even find a single humor valve in that moment. Well, I guess that is funny. I guess that's <laughs> Yeah, that was guess, funny. Yeah, I don't even I, know when I'm funny. Do that's... you know what? I think that Piers is probably getting at what would you consider your best joke? What is the My joke best that joke. would, you know... Have you got a go-to one when everything... If you've got a dodgy audience and they're not really... I, uh, I shouldn't imagine yeah. it happens too much, but if you do, do you have one that... That, I'm gonna do that like one. Like the track the back. DJ gets out, uh, you know. Well, when the, when the... I guess I'd say I say I, 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 I beat you. I beat you to heaven. I don't know. You know that that's got. I don't know about joke about that. What's the worst? <laughs> what's the worst heckle that you get when you're doing stand up? Or do people not? Have you got to the point now where people no longer heckle? No, they try, but they stop real fast because <laughs> they realize, oh, he's pretty good. He's pretty good because I will talk about him. I, I, I would talk about him. Bad. Is that the way to do it? Is to single them out and then. Make Make them the butt of the joke. Yes, yeah, I will help. They will help the show. They will really uh, make the show. If I cut both your ears off, how much would they be worth with those diamonds? Oh, in? My ears? Mm. <laughs> Not much. Because we have got massive diamonds in them. These are these cubic zirconians. Are they real? Yeah, they're real. So they're ears. you got very expensive ears. They're, yeah, they're right. Yeah. 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 You're not worried about somebody wanting to grab them? No, I only wear them special occasions, places like this. He's worried church. about you grabbing <laughs> them. I wouldn't just wear it for a walk out in the hood. But hey, guys, how you doing? <laughs> hey, Chris, you stuck. Come here, come here, let me talk to you. What, what for? We can talk about this. No, closer. Oh, well, close. let, me, let me whisper to you. <laughs> what you doing in the hood with the mirror on? <laughs> I would do uh, When you look at this wall, yes. Uh, who have you made the richest? I think Jackie Chan. <laughs> Jackie Chan. No, he made me rich. I'm gonna tell you, we, we made each other rich because the chemistry and we just had so much fun. And but uh, yeah, I made a lot of people rich. You made us all rich. And Rush Hour yeah. Four is. You know, it's up. not it's not finalized. Okay. You know, uh, it, it got out there that it was finalized. It's not finalized. Me and Jackie want we want to do another one. Okay. So hopefully we can do another. Well, we'd love one. you to but do it. And the first show is Birmingham tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, Four Birmingham. Four more shows: two at London, Hampstead, Apollo. Yes. Chris Tucker, great to see you. Thank you. You too, Pierce. Thank you.